Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Cafe Bagheri. Just in time for Persian New Year, or Nowruz as we call it, we are sharing the Cafe Bagheri version of the Yazdi cake. Bite-sized flavor bombs. I really love these, and I think you will too. So let's get started. All right. To make these Yazdi cakes, I am going to start with the citrus flavor, orange. Now, the regular recipe for Yazdi cake does not have orange rind or taste of citrus in it, but I'm adding that to jazz it up a little bit. We have two uh, medium-sized, I use navel oranges. As long as the skin is smooth and you can uh, zest it, you're good to go. I'm just get in the outer layer. Now, after we're done with both oranges, we're gonna juice them to make the glaze that goes on them afterwards. This is what we call in, in the culinary world a quick batter. It's a quick bread, which means there's no rising involved. We're not using any yeast or anything like that. It's a basic muffin recipe, but it's got some little um, specific things that we do it to give it a specific flavor for our Yazdi cake. The butter has to be room temperature soft, so you can cream it with the sugar and eggs. Have our butter, we put a cup of regular sugar. I am using an electric hand mixer. So initially we're gonna cream the sugar and the soft butter on the lowest speed for about 30 seconds to a minute to kind of get this started. Then slowly increase the speed and almost no separate sugar visible. That's what you're going for. Now throughout each stage of this, you wanna stop and scrape down the sides to help the consistency of this batter. As you can see, sugar has been thrown out of that mix against the sides and we wanna push it back in. This is where we want it. We're going to put our two eggs in here. Whatever you do with eggs, if it involves baking or cooking, you want your eggs to be room temperature. We want to cream these eggs for about three to four minutes. And we are ready to add our flour. You have to sift the flour to get rid of all the clumps in order to not have this flour dust around in the kitchen, just go on the lowest speed all around to start incorporating this flour into the butter mixture. Now up to this minute, it really, uh, creaming the butter and the eggs and sugar, how you do it, it doesn't have any bearing on the final texture of your muffins. After you add the flour, the less you agitate and mix, the fluffier and airier your muffins will be. See, I have some flour around on the sides, so it's time to scrape down again, like so, to make sure all of the dry ingredients go down back into that mix. All right, so this is our last little bit of mixing. Again, I do it as little as possible. Look, this is now ready. Now, before I add the buttermilk, this is baking soda. We got one teaspoon of baking soda, and this is the leavener. This is what provides the fluffiness and the airiness. See, it's gonna start bubbling right away. Now we add this liquid into our mixture of butter, flour, sugar, and the rest of it. So now we have our buttermilk and our dough in there. Now this is another one of Persian touches. Saffron solution, which is ground saffron in hot or very cold water. This is about half teaspoon that I did. And this is, by the way, when I add the orange zest. So we're going on slow just long enough to get all of this incorporated. There you go. This is now basically ready for baking. 
Okay, our batter is ready to go in the muffin tin. One thing I want to show you, um, the traditional cake yazdi is made in bigger muffin tins or in little loaf pans. Like I said earlier, for, to give you a little bite-sized flavor bomb, we're gonna go with these little muffin tins. We spray a little bit of oil. I just go like so, make sure I get complete coverage at the bottom of each little hole. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a pipe-in bag here. I've cut the tip and we're gonna just scoop the batter from the bowl in portions and put them in our piping bag. With the recipe I'm giving you below in the comments, you're gonna get enough batter for about 50 to 60 of these little muffins. So it's gonna be a couple of these to bring the sides up. I do have one of these chip clips I'm gonna push this down like so. I'll just fold this back and put the clip on it. That way I can just do this. You wanna go about half to two thirds up the sides, so don't fill this up, right? Here. That's how much we put it in each tin. Push this up a little bit so you can maintain control. And this is the last one in this batch. So our oven is preheated to 375 and we're going to leave this in between 12 to 17 minutes. It depends on your particular oven's heat profile. While our Yazdi cake is in the oven, we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna juice these oranges. I'm gonna put all of the orange juice from the two medium-sized oranges. I have my one packed cup of brown sugar. We're going to break up the brown sugar and dissolve it. You could put a smidgen, like a quarter teaspoon more saffron in your glaze as well. Just a little bit. Now don't worry about dissolving all of the sugar in orange juice. Some of the grainy coarse sugar, brown sugar with that glaze on the top of your muffins adds to the final effect. The main idea is for the glaze to seep into the cake and provide a moisture that you need. There you go. This is now ready. While we have a couple of minutes left, this is our pistachios and we're going to chop him real coarse. We have our Yazdi cakes, little muffins ready. And while they're hot, right out of the oven, we are going to give them each a generous bath of this orange juice and sugar glaze. I would say about a teaspoonful of glaze is being applied to each one. There you go. This is the idea. And because they're still wet, some of it will adhere to the top. Okay. So now we have applied orange juice and brown sugar glaze. We have sprinkled it with some pistachios. Here it is, we're gonna give them five, seven minutes to cool and they're ready to serve. So for this batch, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. If you remember, the first batch we baked our cakes and then sprinkled, um, put the glaze on and sprinkled some pistachios on there. This time, we're gonna put the pistachios on the batter before they go into the oven. So they kind of bake into it. It's a slightly different effect. I want you to see the results and decide which one it is that you will like. So now we're gonna follow the same 12 to 17 minute timeline. Here it is, that's our second batch. We're gonna come back and put glaze on this one and then we'll present the results. Here they are, our Yazdi cake. This one, the nuts were sprinkled on after they had come out of the oven. These over here, I baked them with the nuts on the batter. 
With these, the nuts are crunchier, and with these, they just don't fall off and easier to eat. I know you're gonna love these. Please make them and send me pictures on my Instagram page, at Cafe Bagheri. I wanna wish all of you a happy Persian New Year, a beautiful spring, Noruz Piruz, keep in touch with me. And if you enjoyed this video, especially if you're planning on making some Yazdi cake, please hit the like under this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, this is a perfect opportunity to subscribe to this channel and hit that little bell button so we can keep in touch. And I wanna see you here at Cafe Bagheri very, very soon. Happy New Year. Mm.